Fuck you, man. That pussy, don't you want to fucking do this? Every time. He doesn't understand. It's like... Yeah, two, two. yeah if I did it to you, you wouldn't... I was oh, about yeah, to put it on my head, too. Put it on your fucking... Too. Oh. I like to think of anarchy as an orphan orphanage for unloved, neglected, ugly films. The island of misfit toys. They're weird and fucked up. But they're also, like, executed by really goddamn good filmmakers with a hell of a cinematic voice. It's about creating new form as well as showing challenging content. This year was a much darker year for Anarchy, which is often um, a whimsical program, and it has um, everything to do uh, with uh, the mood of a nation at this moment. Horseshoe Theory is about a white supremacist and a member of the Islamic State that meet over a weapons deal, and their relationship blossoms into something neither of them expected. Yep. I kind of thought, like, It'd be funny to make a comedy about something that's scaring the shit out of everybody. White supremacists and uh, Islamic extremists. If you know terrorists... Hug a terrorist! Hug a terrorist is really the lesson of the film. <laughs> There's a level of fuck everything, laugh at everything that we like to try to bring. We see things through, you know, weird, surrealist, you know, lenses. In a world of bad breath, there are many ghouls and specters that lurk beneath the surface, and they uh, all come out to play sometimes. This is my good friend Oates. He plays um, many roles in the film. He does a vampire, Santa, beautiful woman. Am I imaginary? I don't know, am I here? <laughs> I don't think so. <gasps> but Anarchy is also about a community. Um, because there's a limited number of filmmakers that are really trying to push boundaries. Anarchy is not just going to be a film program anymore. We are launching it as a series that will either be on the web or on cable or on CBS or by telepathy to the purposes of world domination. Yeah. The show that we're doing has a particular aesthetic going on and a, and a strange narrative of its own that's interstitial between all the, the shorts that we present. And it's, it's the scope of it uh, covers already five years worth of our curations. When we launch this as a series, we expect to raise some fucking hell. What's the most transgressive act that I did that wasn't art? Probably put some gold teeth in my mouth after my accident. I accidentally started a large brush fire in seventh grade. I got fucking arrested for putting up a sticker and then I still mailed it to jail. And I got beat up by a bunch of skinheads one, one time. Drunk once on interstate, I climbed out of my friend's car. I got banned from Twitter. I went to a cotillion one time. Spread the word. We're gonna take it global. This is my new slogan. Anarchy today, anarchy tomorrow, anarchy forever! Uh -huh.